Well, this week, Phoenix is on pace to rival some of the worst heat waves on record. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Curtis. And I'm Tra Mai. With the risk of record-breaking highs comes the possibility that we could see our first monsoon storm of the season. About time, right? One of the most dangerous parts of these storms, these walls of dust tearing through the desert, growing larger by the mile swallowing entire cities and dropping visibility to almost zero. While there's no official record of the number of people who have died in dust storms, experts say the tally is somewhere in the hundreds over the last two decades. We found that dust storms killed 20 times more people than previously known. The real number of dust storm related deaths, according to recent research, is 232 people over the last 10 years. Meteorologist Lindsay Riley is standing by to explain what causes a weather event of this magnitude and what we should do if one hits. Lindsay? Yes, and uh, you will see throughout the monsoon season either a dust advisory or a dust warning issued by the National Weather Service. An advisory is issued when visibility is under one mile, but it does stay above a quarter of a mile. This is a little bit lesser of a dust storm compared to when you have a warning, but it does signify a sudden drop in visibility. Then when a warning is issued, this is more serious. Visibility is under a quarter of a mile with that same sudden drop in visibility. And this also can be accompanied with 40 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts. So you have the blowing dust, you have the sudden drop in visibility. How does this form? A lot of times you'll get thunderstorms that develop down near the Tucson area, moving to the northwest over Pinal County. As they approach the valley, some of them may start to die down, but all thunderstorms have updrafts and downdrafts. Within some of those downdrafts or a dying thunderstorm, they can loft the dust as high as 5,000 feet in the air, and a lot of times that wall of dust heads toward Phoenix. So you will see this with thunderstorms over the open desert. Typically, when you don't have uh, rain events uh, for many consecutive of days in a row. You need very dry conditions, which is symbolic of early in the monsoon season. Driving in a dust storm, you want to pull completely off the road, turn off the vehicle, and keep all lights off within the vehicle, including your foot off the brake, and you want to stay inside the car and wait for the storm to pass.